Hello and welcome to our Valentine's Day art lesson. Uh, these are the following materials you're going to need. You're going to need your large piece of construction paper, your pencil and your eraser, your black sharpie, your ruler. Everyone got a saving water saves energy ruler from school. You can use that one or you can use whatever ruler you have at home that you prefer. And you're going to need your red oil pastel. So let's actually take our red oil pastel off our paper. Don't have it touch your paper yet. Just put it off to the side. I can put it up here. I'm going to put it up above where I'm working. And uh, we will come to that in a little bit. So um, what we're going to be doing is something similar to this. Okay, so we're going to be using uh, our ruler to, to divide our paper into a ton of different sections, but big enough so that you can do different line patterns within each segment. And then we're going to lay some hearts on top. For Valentine's Day okay here is another sample these are not straight lines these are more curved lines uh, separated into sections and making patterns so I gave Joey the choice I said hey what do you want to do do you want to do ruler do you want to do curved lines he said ruler if you are feeling more in the mood to do curvy lines like this one and this one I'm gonna give you that freedom okay so when we're using our ruler go ahead and um, you can if you choose to do the curvy lines when we're at that point where we're using our ruler I want you to uh, freehand it with some um, uh, lines that are curved okay so this is just to give you some inspiration right here and right here and all of these right here, these are gonna be put on Google Classroom and we're gonna get started. I really believe that we can do this in one video, so let's see how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna go over what I always go over with you guys in order to have a positive mindset, have um, just to kind of get ourselves into a, a good place to do our art lesson. Number one, always try your best, just like it's always asked of you and everything in life. It's asked of every human being, on the face of this earth try your best in everything you do okay number two if you get frustrated take a deep breath count to ten take another deep breath try it again if that means you need to take a break and pause for ten, five ten minutes do that come back persevere try again number three everyone's art will turn out differently your artwork is uniquely yours and i can't wait to see what yours is going to look like and number four, art is not perfect. We're, we are not going for perfection. We are going for fun and our very best, all right? All right, let's get started. So I want you to take everything off of your paper and all you have, sorry, I have something hanging there. Um, all you have is your piece of construction paper, your large piece of construction paper, and you have your ruler. If you are doing the straight edges with us, the straight lines. If you are doing uh, some freestyle curved lines, then um, you don't have to use your ruler. What I want you to really look at is I want you to look at the spacing these other students did, okay? So this student right here laid their ruler out in all different directions, but this student made sure, or this artist, I don't even know if it was a student, this person, this artist, made sure that each segment was large enough to put a good amount of um, line uh, of that pattern that that person chose within each little segment. Same thing here. These are great examples. Here's another one. Another one here. A lot of space. Okay. So I want you to be thinking about that. I want you to make sure that you have a couple square inches within each segment. So a square inch would be one inch by one inch if you were to measure. So here's one inch right here, and then one inch would be going the opposite way. So it would be a, a square of one inch. You want at least a couple square inches per area. Sound good? All right, I have Joey here. Here's his workstation. He's ready to go. You ready? Mm -hmm. Awesome, okay. All right, let's see. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the, um, the ruler with you. Okay, so go ahead and grab your ruler and just kind of, you know, pick it an area and just draw in a straight line. Okay, and then go ahead and pick another area. You can cross it. And the goal here is to kind of make it kind of all over the place, not, not like perfect squares. Yeah, 
So, okay, now Joey's noticing, I have a smaller piece of paper because that's what works with our, um, with the, the distance between my iPad and the stand that I'm using. So Joey says to me, well, wait a minute, his ruler doesn't stretch all the way across. So what you can do is I would do like a slanted line. So like slant it, yeah. And no, you can still make it so it's really long if you want. And then you go ahead and you do, you if, if you, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so see that section right there, Joey, where you have a bunch connected? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and, and use your eraser and erase some of those lines. So see how Joe has like a bunch of those little tiny areas? Figure out where you might want to erase. So you might want to erase that little, that X that's below that. So that that area is there you go awesome okay so now Joe let's let's pretend you did want to do a line that goes like you know across but doesn't connect all the way like that mm -hmm. so you 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 do it across to here and then you're gonna pick up your ruler and you're gonna continue it mm -hmm. okay all right I'm gonna keep going Joey's gonna keep keep going you're gonna keep going um, not too many lines just enough in order to make it so we have several sections like that's pretty small that's as small as i'd want you to go that's pretty small that's pretty small that's a good size that's a good size i might want to i would make a couple more like maybe one in here i'm gonna divide right in here i'm gonna even maybe come out of this of the corner of my paper right here right here i'm gonna divide this one as well maybe this way okay um, maybe divide this segment in, in, in some way. Okay, I'm done. I'm done dividing my segments. Let's check you out, Joe. So here's Joey. You gonna do one more? Okay, you good? Mm -hmm. How many do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven? Okay, so that's a, that's a good amount. So if you have about eleven, ten. are you, you ten? You're gonna erase that one right there? Yeah. Okay. And even in that segment right there, if you want to divide that or keep that, that's your call. Yeah, okay. Keep it. keep it. Okay. Awesome. So Joe has 10 areas that he's going to be designing. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine areas that I'm going to design. Okay. So if you chose, instead of using your ruler, if you chose something like this, just make sure, like I said before, you have enough space between all your segments to do some line patterns, okay? All right, so let's get our black Sharpie out. Are you committed to your lines? Mm -hmm. Okay, get your black Sharpie out, use your ruler, and go ahead and really try your best to stay on that line and trace it. The Sharpie might rub up against your ruler if that that is the case you can get a wet, wet wipe and go across your ruler and and wipe it off or you can very carefully pick up your ruler and not drag it on your paper because if you drag it on your paper then it smears the um the sharpie that you've already done so try not to drag it on your paper as you move your ruler around tracing the lines does that make sense what i'm saying joe yeah okay okay so i pick i'm not Shuffle, I'm not scooting my ruler, I'm picking it up and moving it every time I go to trace. Picking it up and moving it and gently placing it down. And I'm gonna be almost done tracing my lines. How are you doing with yours? Yeah. Pretty, pretty nicely. You know what? I wanna change that line. do this line mm. yeah, yeah, maybe I do like that line there maybe I'm gonna come up more though okay all right I have all my lines and I'm just realizing that I have like a triangle in the center of mine and everything's kind of coming out of my triangle okay if I wanted to I could do even another line here I think I will I'm gonna do another line right here. Now, in each of these areas, I'm gonna have a different pattern of lines, okay? We have done so many of these throughout being at Loma Vista where we create different patterns within different segments 
it started in first grade with our turtles and we just kind of worked it through and in second grade you guys did monsters um in fourth grade you guys did bears in fifth grade you guys did an under underground above ground scene and earlier this school year you guys did a leaf okay so i'm just kind of jogging your memory of all the different ones we've done so far at loma vista so if it helps to go get your old portfolios out you can do that and check and, and look at line patterns or if you want to go on google classroom and look for inspiration i'm going to have these posted you could look at all these different types of lines here as well and then I want you to go ahead and start in one area and I want you to create that pattern, okay? I myself prefer to start with pencil and that way if I if I change my mind, I can erase and then I can trace over in Sharpie. Yeah, I just wanna do Sharpie. Are you gonna go straight to Sharpie? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you're gonna go straight to Sharpie like Joe, I want you to be really mindful before you start. Tell me what line you're gonna do right now. A straight line. So, so you're going to do a pattern of, of lines going down um, horizontally, or excuse me, vertically, they're going to be going down. Okay. Are they going to be, are there going to be any lines crossing them or are you just going to do the vertical lines? Okay. So Joe's going to do some vertical lines. Take your time. I'm going to do some um, like cursive E's connected. Okay. So pick what you're going to do. Take your time. This is not a race. We are looking to um, just have a good time, relax. You could put some music on right now if you want to. And enjoy just creating and having a creative outlet. Okay. All right. What do you think, Joey? What are you going to do next? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were done. What are you going to do next? Do you want to do you want to look at these for inspiration? You don't have to copy those. I'm just saying if you wanted to get some inspiration. Okay, I'm going to move on to my next square here or my uh, this uh, triangle here and I'm just going to do triangles, concentric triangles inside. So a triangle here, inside this, another concentric triangle inside, Some another math term, concentric. It means you have the same shape um, going from the, out, from the inside out or from the outside in, okay? So I did concentric triangles there. Um, you can do uh, shape, uh, other shapes. You can do other types of line patterns. You can do something where you're ha ha like hashing it. So I'm going to do these vertical lines coming down like this. And then horizontal lines going across. I'm taking my time. It's not a race. We all go at our own pace. I'm going to show you where Joey is. There he is. Beautiful. Um, what else could I do? I could do something like, like this. Zigzag pattern like this. And then below that zigzag, zigzag, zigzag pattern, I can make it like a path, like a zigzagging path. And then I can do a straight path. And then a zigzagging path. And then a straight path. Okay. Oh, you're doing concentric shapes. Awesome. Okay, what else could I do? I could do like a checkerboard. Okay, how about I do a checkerboard right here? I can go, well, I guess this could be a checkerboard. Maybe I'll do something different. I, it, as it, when I... When I do my um, my lines, I can I can do a checkerboard. I can do maybe like a like a burst, like a like a this would be like a starburst. 
like that. Um, I'm going to look for inspiration myself. Mm, maybe I can do some. circles that are big going this way and then small a row of small ones a row of big ones and then a row of small ones again you guys you do what you what inspires you you do not have to copy me you do not have to use the same patterns um, that you see on Google Classroom. You can create your own. If you want to go and do a Google search, you can look for line patterns. If you want other ideas. Here's this one too. With the, with the excuse me, sorry, I was upside down. Uh, with the, um, the curved lines, okay? Some other patterns you can do. All right, how are you doing, Joe? Okay. All right. Okay, so I did some circles there. I have one, two, three, four more spots. I'm gonna leave those open right now because I'm gonna go ahead and start tracing. What I want you to do, if you're using pencil, I want you to pause the video and I want you to just go ahead and finish using your pencil and then come back and press the play button when you're done and go ahead and start tracing with me. So like I said, if you've done pencil, you're pausing right now, you're finishing up, and you're going to press play when you're ready to start sharpening. The only thing about using pencil is that you have to erase the pencil line if you want it to be nice and clean. And maybe you're using pencil right now and you're like, you know what, I feel pretty confident. I think I can do this with using Sharpie and be okay if I make a mistake and just keep moving on knowing that I can't erase. Okay. Oh, you're going to color in some stripes. It's a great idea. Okay, this is where Joey is. He's working. And you know what? I, I failed to mention this. We have, we have some scratch paper underneath our papers so that the, the Sharpie does not bleed onto our tabletop. So please grab, uh, especially if you're going to be coloring with the black Sharpie, please grab... Um, a piece of scratch paper to put underneath you so that the Sharpie does not bleed onto your table or countertop. When I'm all done with the Sharpie, I'm going to take my eraser and I'm going to be um, erasing my pencil lines before we do the last step. The very last step is um, kind of fun. That's when we're gonna add the red heart or hearts for Valentine's Day. And you know, Valentine's Day means something different for everybody. It can mean, um, you know, just expressing yourself in a friendship, expressing yourself in uh, your relationship with your parents or your siblings or your grandma and grandpa, other family members. It can mean expressing yourself to uh, maybe someone you have a crush on. So you can think about that as you're creating your heart. Okay, and on this one, I can do a checker pattern. I can do, like Joey's doing his coloring right now, I can do black and white. So everyone just kind of take your time 
and design it however you want. Put some music on. You could be doing this virtually with a friend also, if that works out for you. This could be working together and telling each other how much you appreciate your friendship and celebration of Valentine's Day. You could do the lesson together. Or you could be sitting with your grandma right now and maybe she has a piece of scratch paper and she's doing it with you. This could be something you do with somebody else. You don't have to have a black Sharpie. You can use just if someone you love in your family sitting next to you, they could do it with a pencil. It could be something fun to do with another person. That would be, you know, making a school home connection. Okay. How are you doing, Joe? Good. I'm sitting with someone I love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. We can work on this for a little for a few more minutes and then we'll we'll start thinking about where we're going to put our hearts with our oil pastel. If you have misplaced your oil pastel bag, your Ziploc bag of oil pastels, um, that's okay. You can use crayons or you can use um, colored pens or you could use um, colored pencils. All right. All right, let's see. So I did that area. I can do my starburst here. I think we're about ready to, um, I think what I'm gonna have you guys do is finish up your, I want you to have every single box or area done before you get your, your oil pastel out. And not only just sharpied, but if you did pencil, I'd like you to use an eraser and take your time to go through each segment and erase the lines. So right now, I want that's the two things I want you to do. I want you to pause the video and I want you to use, finish up your black sharpening everywhere. Everything's done on your, on your composition. And then I want you to get your eraser and I want you to erase all the pencil lines if you have any and then press play and come back to me and we're gonna go ahead and do the hearts. I'm almost done. I'm gonna be careful, even though I'm using oil pastels, I'm not gonna spend the time during the video to finish what I just asked you to finish, but I'll come back in and be careful and finish up my piece so that I can share it with you on Google Classroom when Joey and I post the video. Okay. How are you doing, Joe? Good. Okay, I'm gonna move on. I want you to keep doing what you're doing and then you can um, hop in after and do the oil pastel, okay? Okay. Yeah. Sound good? Okay, so now I'm gonna pretend that I have done everything that I just asked you to do which was design every single segment. I still have one, two, three, four segments left, and I asked you to erase all your, your pencil lines. So if you press play and you're back with me, you are totally ready to go with your oil pastels to do the very last part, which is to add some hearts. This one right here just added a huge heart right smack in the middle. This person right here added three. Look around, they added hearts pretty much haphazardly on these ones all over the place. So what you can do is kind of strategize it with your pencil of where you're gonna use your oil pastel and draw your heart or hearts. Okay, I'm gonna leave that up to you. I do want you to make sure that you don't just go crazy with hearts all over and that you, and because I want you to be able to recognize the line patterns behind the hearts. Okay, so I'm only gonna do it in the areas that I've actually designed because I'm gonna come back in after the video and I'm gonna fill those in. So let's just say I'm gonna do a heart right 
here. I'm going to draw it in with my pencil. Okay, and then maybe I want to do another heart right here. And this one's a little bit smaller. Okay, so I'm just going to do, I'm doing two hearts. I want you to go ahead, really look at your composition and decide how many hearts do you want, how big are they going to be, and where are you going to put them. And go ahead and do your hearts, and then um, I want you to press the pause button, and I want you to draw all your hearts, however many they are, wherever you put them, however big they are, and then I want you to press the play button and come back to me, and we're going to go ahead and color them in with our red uh, oil pastel. So if you're back, that means you're ready to start coloring. So I'm going to take my oil pastel, and I am going to just start coloring in my heart. Now I'm even thinking maybe we need our, um, like a black oil pastel to tra to like trace the heart to make it really pop, but maybe not. Let's see how it looks. It's getting wobbly, guys. Sorry, that's what happens when I color. How many hearts did you do? Three. Three. Beautiful. This is my advice to you. Before you start doing your oil pastel, and this is my advice to everybody, try to erase your pencil line a little bit so it's so it's really light. No, 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 your pencil line of your heart. So it's a really light, faint heart. Because look, I'm starting to color mine in, and I'm wishing that I had kind of erased my line a little bit. Because in the end, you're going to see my pencil line. So make your pencil line really faint of your heart. And then what you're going to want to do is kind of just kind of color the inside of your heart or hearts really nice and solid. And then towards the end is when you're going to really get really nice and defined around the edges of your heart. Do you see how I'm coloring it in, Joe? And I'm not leaving any white showing. Mm -hmm. I'm coloring it in really solidly. Okay. So here we go. Now that I have the inside, now I'm going to really work on getting my nice defined outside. And I'm going to move my paper around so that I don't smudge. So Joey, you make sure you move your paper around so you don't smudge too. And this is kind of how we're going to wrap the lesson up. What, what did you think about this one? This one was pretty... Pretty simple and pretty quick. Mm -hmm. And it's some skills we've worked on in the past. Remember when we did the leaves earlier this year? We traced the leaves on top of our concentric circles. Yeah. Um, so this is kind of similar, a similar idea to that. I always like to come circle back around for skills and concepts we've worked on before, but bringing it in in a new way. Okay, so there's one of my hearts. I have another heart right here that I'm gonna do, but I don't think you guys need to watch me. <laughs> so if you need more time, or if you need to rewind at any point, you need to rewatch the video, you can go ahead and scroll through. Try really hard not to smudge your oil pastel. I did a little bit of a smudge right here, and I'm just gonna be okay with that. But when you're, remember, you're always blowing, right? You're not, you are not um, wiping the, the um, remnant of the oil pastel that kind of flakes off. We're not going to rub it off. We're going to blow it off. And then when you're all done, oh, should I made you do this in the very beginning? Everyone stop. Stop. Turn your paper over. Write your name. Thank you, Joey. Stop what you're doing wherever you are. Write your name. Turn it back over and then go ahead and finish it up. Then you can take one of your scratch papers, one of your warm-up papers that was given to you. You can take that warm-up paper and you can put it on top to kind of protect your oil pastel from smudging off onto any other art that you're gonna paper clip this to. So finish it up. Can't wait to see what they look like. And then I want you to um, paper clip this in with any other finished artwork you have and bring it to the next art material, art, not art material, school material pickup. Of course, your art material will be there as well. Bring that with you and um, 
Can't wait to see how they all turn out. And we, will, Joey and I will see you for the next art lesson and clean up your workspace. Put your oil, <laughs> Joey's like cringing at me. Clean up your workspace, put your oil pastels away, wipe up any mess you made with your oil pastels, zip up your Ziploc bag, and then we will see you for the next video. Bye. Good luck. Bye.